After a very exhausting teasing campaign, Tesla's futuristic Cybertruck has been finally unveiled. The thing is definitely out of this world, both performance and design-wise. But did you know that this is not the only electric pickup that already exists? In fact, we managed to dig out for you an entire lineup, where Cybertruck and Rivian R1T are just a few of many options. So buckle up and let's explore one of the world's most utilitarian, versatile and desired vehicle classes that has been recently slammed by the electrification tsunami. Subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss any news about the modern EVs and enjoy the ride! Tesla Cybertruck Have you ever seen the original Blade Runner movie? Well, the design of Elon Musk's new creation clearly reflects the cyberpunk vision of the future cars that people had back in 1980s. It is hard to wrap one's head around the trapezoidal exterior that seems to be made of a single metal piece. It is bulletproof and features a newly developed steel alloy also used on the SpaceX Starship. This pickup will be offered in multiple configurations, priced from $40,000 going up to 70 grand. The specs for the lower-end models are impressive, but the top-of-the-line tri-motor all-wheel drive is absolutely off the charts. It should be able to cover 500 miles on a charge, tow up to 14,000 pounds, carry 3,500 pounds, and accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. Supposedly, the Cybertruck can compete in the Baja Rally with its 16 inches of clearance, adaptive air suspension, and the best approach departure angles in the class. Rivian R1T Along with the upcoming Tesla truck, the R1T is probably the most anticipated model in this segment. It is developed by the American startup Rivian that has already managed to secure more than $1.5 billion of funding with the most prominent investors, including such giants as Ford Motor Company and Amazon. The mid-size pickup is expected to roll off production lines sometime in 2020 and will be produced in three trims. The entry-level one has a preliminary $70,000 price tag and will receive a 105 kWh battery, 402 horsepower, 413 pound-feet of torque and 230 miles of range. The top modification is promised not to exceed $90,000 but will get 750 horses, 823 pound-feet and 400 miles of range with a towing capacity up to 11,000 pounds. Finally, with a 0-6 to six acceleration from 4.9 to 3 seconds respectively, the R1C could participate in the hot rod competitions straight from the factory. Bollinger B2 Though for many, the Bollinger pickup may not be as attractive looking as those developed by competitors, the company feels that practicality and utilitarian nature are more important features. Being able to carry 5,000 pounds of payloads, the B2 offers standard bed length of 72 inches, but by removing the rear seats and opening the cab wall, it can be extended to 96 inches for transporting really long cargo. The model also has a 14 cubic feet front trunk for additional storage. The B2 is brought into motion by a pair of electric motors and a 120 kWh battery, yielding 614 horses, 668 pound-feet of torque and having 200 miles of range. Thanks to its all-aluminum chassis with a hydropneumatic suspension, the Bollinger B2 is quite capable off-road, offering 15 inches of ground clearance and 10 inches of wheel travel. Atlas XT Truck It is very likely that you have never heard of Atlas motor vehicles before, as they are yet to launch their first car in 2020. But if everything shown in their pre-production pickup will be delivered to the assembly line, then the all-electric XT truck might become a game-changer in the growing niche. According to the manufacturer, the model will be able to cover up to 500 miles on a single charge with the largest battery option. Unlike its key competitors, the XT is a full-size truck with various cap configurations and two bed lengths, 6.5 or 8 feet. It will also get single rear or dual rear wheels options, with the latter being able to tow up to 35,000 pounds while maintaining 65 mph at a 6 degree slope. The pickup is also expected to accelerate to 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds. Chrysler Electric Hummer H1 You might have heard that Arnold Schwarzenegger is all about going green these days. So even his cars, no matter how brutal they look, get electric powertrains. First, in order to please the governator, the Austrian company Chrysler Electric electrified his Mercedes G-Class, 
and next created another one-of-a-kind EV based on the Hummer H1. The Smitey Beast received a new powertrain comprised of two electric motors, one on each axle, with a combined output of 485 horses. The truck is also equipped with a 100 kWh battery that ensures a max range of 186 miles. Despite a substantial weight of 7,250 pounds, it demonstrates unexpected agility, accelerating from 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds and developing 75 miles per hour top speed. Sadly, this vehicle is the only electric off-road Hummer release so far, and the manufacturer is not planning to start mass production. Ford F-150 Electric 11.5 billion dollars. This is the amount of money that Ford is willing to pour into the development of electric vehicles by the year 2022. And the first models to obtain the new technology are the recently introduced crossover Mustang Mach-E and of course the best-selling pickup in the world, the F-150. Since the Blue Oval has invested in the Michigan-based Rivian, chances are that the future F-trucks will share the powertrain with the startup's model. But for now, no info is disclosed. Ford's test mules have been spotted here and there, and a prototype in Canada has even demonstrated the capabilities of the truck of the future. It pulled a stunt that highlights EV's immense torque by towing 1.25 million pounds for 1,000 feet, which is 10 double-decker freight carts loaded with 42 gasoline versions of the F-150. If you want electric vehicles to conquer the world, make sure to like this video. By the way, we never miss to feature any news about the EVs, so once you're done watching this episode, proceed to the rest by following the links in the description and info cards. Let's keep going! Chevrolet E10 The culture of hot rods is still widespread around the world, especially in the US and Canada. The E10 concept by Chevrolet is imagining how the future of this movement will look like if electric vehicles took over. This quirky machine is built on the platform of the 1962 C10 pickup and is motivated by dual-motor Connect and Cruise concept great propulsion package with estimated 450 horsepower output. The torque is transferred via Supermatic 4L75E automatic transmission to the rear axle, resulting in brisk under 5 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration. It must be mentioned, though, that this electric pickup concept totally loses its utilitarian nature since the two 400V batteries from Chevy Bolt with 60kWh capacity each are placed in the bed, where they occupy all the useful space. Workhorse W15 The news of the W15 pickup first surfaced back in 2016, and a year later, the Ohio-based manufacturer of commercial transport Workhorse presented its prototype. The truck received two electric motors with a combined output of 460 horses and a 60 kWh battery providing up to 80 miles of all-electric driving. To compensate for the lack of range, a small 1.3-liter internal combustion engine was installed, choosing the motors and extending the truck's travel capacity to 310 miles. In 2018, the W15 was launched for pre-order, collecting more than $5 million in reservation fees. Since then, however, all has been quiet, until in November 2019, the company purchased an old GM plant in Lordstown, Ohio, where it plans to begin manufacturing the W15 as an all-electric model. The truck, which was later renamed to Endurance, will be first delivered to the customers who made pre-orders for the W15. Chevrolet Colorado ZH2 you really know that a technology is here to stay when not only private, but government investors become interested in it. This is what happened with the hydrogen fuel cell propulsion, which since 2017 is being developed by GM in collaboration with the US Army. Their first prototype is the mission-ready Chevrolet Colorado ZH2, based on the stretch Colorado frame. The standard production cab has been modified to fit the 37-inch tires, while the chassis received a specially modified suspension. All body panels are made of carbon fiber and additionally reinforced with Kevlar. The truck is fitted with a single 173 horsepower electric motor, a four-wheel drive, and a 93 kilowatt fuel cell system. The hydrogen tanks are bulletproof, being able to bounce off .50 Browning machine gun. The upcoming ZH2 might become an ideal reconnaissance vehicle of the future, since it is completely quiet and can climb any terrain. Dongfang Ridge 6 EV Many companies have attempted to claim the title of the world's first manufacturer of electric pickups, but the joint venture between Nissan and the China state-owned Dongfang have beaten anyone in this race. 
The Rich 6 EV, which rides on the Japanese platform, has already been rolled out of the production lines. Unfortunately, we do not have any actual footage of the CV, since the People's Republic rarely releases any media kits. But it looks very close to the gasoline version of the Rich that you are currently seeing on the screen. This truck sits 5 people, is powered by a single 160 horsepower, 310 pound feet motor and a 68 kilowatt hour battery pack. The range is nowhere near the American bound models of tomorrow, but 175 miles on a charge and 45 minutes to 80% fast charging should satisfy the daily needs of a tradesman, especially with the stunning $19,000 price tag after incentives. Polaris Ranger EV before you complain in the comments that this isn't a pickup truck, I just wanted to let you know that I realized this as well. This is a bonus entry that demonstrates that personal utility vehicles do not end with the above-mentioned electric pickups. The Ranger EV came out in 2016 as the first ever UTV with a lithium-ion battery which doubled the range to 50 miles and decreased the weight by 500 pounds. It is a two-seater that is brought into motion by a single 48-volt AC induction electric motor with peak output of 30 horsepower. In a standard driving mode, the CTV is driven by the rear wheels, but a true all-wheel drive is available on demand. With a payload capacity of 1000 pounds, towing capacity of 1500 and lots of kit accessories available from the manufacturer, it is a capable helper for a wide range of tasks. What do you think about the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck and the rest of the electrified pickups? Will they ever replace gas and diesel guzzling giants of today? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do not hesitate to leave a like and proceed to watching other electric videos on our channel starting with the ones in front of you. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and may the torque be with you!